I am going to be creating a background out of magazine pages, and when I finish, you will not be able to tell that magazine pages was the foundation for this art journal page. This is the fourth week in the coffee cup prompt for magazine page. And with this final version, I am going to create an art journal page. But first, let me tell you who I am. four weeks or during this month magazine pages has been quite fun and today I'm choosing the color scheme blue to work with to create a background for an art journal page in the past we have made an accordion book we have also developed a magazine image transfer on the gel press and did a paint over of that and last week, we made beads and created charms out of shrink plastic to dangle on the edges of our spine for journal, junk journal, art journal covers. This week, we're going to create another page in this art journal, which has been filled with magazine page images. So let's get started with getting this page put together. I first just want to rip my pages into various size strips. And I am being very conscious of the color. So I am choosing for it to be predominantly blue. Trying to get these little white pieces off the edge. So I am going to go through these magazine pages that I have chosen, which were predominantly blue in color, and I'm going to strip it all out, and then we will get ready to put these strips into the journal page. So here we are at the next process, which is pasting these or gluing these into the journal as my background. I'm using just a mixture of Elmer's glue and water to adhere these strips paying no attention to how they go down just grabbing them and stripping them across the page and here we are at the final adherence or the final placement of the final strip we are ready now to begin working on this so as you can see I've created a blue cover I also um, started one with just random colors as well but today we're going to work on this blue I want to knock off some of that shine of the magazine page and kind of start to dis disguise the fact that this is pieces of a magazine. With a very fine sandpaper, I am going over the top and kind of trying to remove or disguise the lines in between the pieces. And also knocking some of that color back as I go. And you see me with a little bottle that's just some um, glitter glue. So any time I feel that there might be something that is pulling up or something that wasn't adhered properly, I'm adhering it back or making sure that everything is properly adhered. And there we have the sanded page. I also, which I lost the footage on this, or I didn't lose the footage, I forgot to turn my camera on. I have the golden um, phalo blue transparent high flow acrylic paint that I just dripped onto this page and spread about. I went to knock that back 
with a little bit of gesso. So I'm going to put some gesso here on the side, grab my paintbrush, and just randomly apply some gesso to this page. And once I have that down, I'm going to allow that page to fully dry. Actually going to speed that up a little bit with my hair dryer. Once completely dry, I'm coming back with that fine sanding paper and we'll sand once again. And again, I'm being conscious to kind of knock down those lines in between where that paper is glued down and also wanting to knock that color back just a little bit to kind of grunge it up, give it a little bit of that rustic feel or that aged feel, if you will. And I'm always going over it with my hand to make sure that I don't have any pieces that are coming up because I do not want this to peel off. So now I'm spreading some of that gesso out and grabbing something from my mark making basket that I keep underneath my desk here. I keep all kinds of things from my kitchen and from the house and just random things that I find that I think would make great marks. This is just a tin can which creates a nice circular pattern. And I want to put some of those white links onto this page. going to grab just a random stencil with some homemade texture paste and run that texture paste through that stencil. And again, I'm just keeping it white. And I think we're starting to get a pretty good background going here. And that was where I was going to stop. I was going to create the background. That was going to be the focus of my video. But I think I'm going to continue a little further. So let me sand this down once again. And you'll see in this particular background, I use this fine gauge sandpaper quite a bit. And it does do a lot to kind of even out the page knock down the ridges and that's what I'm doing with the texture paste is just removing anything that might be loose and might you know come off in in the future or be knocked off in the future so I went I went to make that just a, a real fine smooth page and I think an image will fit nicely in the center and like I said before this was going to be the end of this video. And then I decided, let me see what I have in stock that I can actually use as a focal point. And around the holiday time in 2022, I made a bunch of these little wonky faces and I had been drawing them every day, cut them out, created some tags with them. And they have been in my, my little accordion uh, ephemera holder for quite a while. And this one had that blue sari silk at the top. And I thought, well, that looks nice. And she also has these vibrant blue eyes. And she just seemed to yearn to live right here on this page in my magazine art journal, that, which is what it has turned into. Every page that I have started this year, I started this in January. January happened to be the month that I was doing magazine page as my coffee cup prompt. And I've been filling my art journal with magazine page art. So she's going to live right here. And now that I have her in place, I'm picking up that uh, magazine once again and I am looking for some words that I think kind of speak today to me perhaps to my image and I have chosen a uh, conversation or voices is it conversation or are is it just 
voices. And as Sharon, a texture junkie, says, is it the Charlie Brown teacher? Wah, wah, wah. So that was kind of on my mind. So I chose those words. And, and I think they fit her well because you can kind of see on her face she's a little skeptical and has that um, face set like, are you kidding me, really? <laughs> and I think the conversation or voices kind of speaks to her quite well. <clears throat> so I'm cutting out the O and the R now. I have conversation laid down. I have voices cut. And I'm going to glue those into place. And I think we will have a, our journal page close to finished. But there are still a few more things that I want to do. So stick with me while I glue these down. And there we go. So we have our words in place. Let's grab the stabilo and outline our lady or our tag. And I'm also going to outline this little flower was a piece of fodder that I made in fodder school one and a lesson in fodder school one. And I have a, a ephemera keeper that is full of these little watercolor pieces of fodder. Um, I found for my purposes they were a lot of bright colors that I didn't use often so I haven't really used them and this was a good time to pull something blue out of that ephemera keeper and get it into place. And if you follow along with me, you know that I kind of lean toward the grunge and the, the rustic look. So utilizing this blue is kind of out of character for me. So I hope you will enjoy something a little brighter. And I now have that all outlined with that stabilo. And I'm pulling my fan brush out and I'm going to put a dot of Mars Black over here on the side. I'm running out of paint. A lot of my paints are getting very low. I just made a huge order this morning. So I'm just using that fan brush to dot some interest or to place some interest on that page in black. I kind of wanted to pull the black in of the words and the stabilo outline of the tag and the hand hand or the little piece of fodder. And I just want to go back and go around anything. I forgot to go around the first time and there we got that little flower completely outlined now. We have some black on the page and to finish it off I'm going to grab a black permanent ink pad and go around the outside edge of the entire page. And sorry for the rumbling in the background. I have my, there's two cats in my shop today and they are playing. And this finishes off. Stay 
with me and I'll show you a complete photo montage of this piece. And if you haven't joined me for the coffee cup prompts, all I'm looking for is just a, an idea. This, this is a, the medium that we've been using for the past month, magazine pages. Do you and come on over to my Facebook group and post what you do. This is my final magazine prompt for, or magazine page make for this month's prompt, magazine pages. I will be drawing for the upcoming month, and we will be doing something totally different. So if you like that, come Join me, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. You'll be notified. I post these videos of the prompts every Sunday afternoon around 1 o'clock. Thank you for being here. Thank you for participating in my community. And I shall say bye for now. The playlist of all the previous prompts is right here.